The British government says Russia is plotting to overthrow the government in Ukraine and install pro-Kremlin leaders. We've been warning about just this kind of tactic uh, for weeks. More than 120,000 Russian troops are stationed along Ukraine's border. On CNN's State of the Union, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the United States will not tolerate any Russian forces entering Ukraine. That would trigger uh, a swift, a severe, and a united response uh, from us uh, and from Europe. American officials say a Russian invasion of Ukraine would be the most serious threat to global peace since World War II. If he's able to go into Ukraine and there's very little pushback from the United States or from NATO, it allows him to move into other countries in Eastern Europe. While urging diplomacy, the U.S. says NATO will not meet Russian demands to ban Ukraine from future membership. Russia's other demands include that NATO pull back forces from Eastern Europe. The Kremlin denies it's plotting to overthrow Ukraine's leader. Here at home, some, like Congressman Michael McCall, say the U.S. shouldn't wait to find out. It's getting very aggressive. Uh, the noose is tightening around Ukraine. President Zelensky, as you mentioned, said he wants the sanctions now. But Secretary Blinken says the U.S. would lose leverage if sanctions are implemented too soon. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.